How do we reference collection elements? How do we reference nested tables, V arrays, and associative arrays? Generally, they are referenced using what is called in the object world typecasting. This is what a typecast looks like. What you do is you include mistake, you enclose an object within a class name. Then what happens is that the class definition and methods will be applied to that object in order to extract values from it or execute things on that object. Obviously, you can do multi layers or multi nested levels of typecasting. Typecasting can get really complicated, especially if you have very deep layers and you're accessing objects right from the bottom of a hierarchy up to the top. The deeper the layers are, the more complicated it is. It's probably the result of a structure which is too granular. Not necessarily, though. In the object world, a granular structure is an efficient structure in terms of coding. A very granular structure in the object world is good, but it is not necessarily an efficient form when executing. There's a big difference between objects when writing, developing, and designing, and when actually executing on a runtime basis. That is not necessarily the case, but more often than not. When referencing Oracle collection elements, such as nested tables, V arrays, and associative index arrays, there are certain built-in methods that can be used. The ones that are not directly obvious I've annotated with a call-out box. Exists. Does an array element exist? A count. There's obviously a count of all the objects within that object, all the iterations of it. The limit is the maximum size of an array. First and last is the first and last object. Prior and next are methods which can be used to scroll through the objects declared. Extend will actually allow you to increase the length of an array. Trim will decrease the length of an array. And delete will remove specific elements that you specify. There are code extensions within PLSQL which will allow you to more or less build class and method structures in much the same way that you can build properly designed object code within a tool such as Java or an object database. PLSQL uses specific constructor, member, mapping, and order methods. I do not recommend trying to build object structures within PLSQL using constructor, member, map, and order methods because of the simple reason that Oracle is a relational database. Once again, I'll reiterate. Objects and relations do not mix well. The internal structure or the underlying structure is totally different. Object structures are extremely efficient for retrieving very small amounts of information, specifically when you know exactly what you're looking for from a very large set of data. Relational databases are not really efficient for doing that kind of thing. But Relational databases have gone through years of development, and there are many bits and pieces on the outside of relational databases, such as highly efficient indexing, which can be used to find exact matches of data within large data sets. Object databases or object structures are very good at finding small pieces of data or exact matches within large sets. However, relational databases are extremely good and extremely excellent performance when it comes to writing reports because of the nature of the reports. Reporting tends to denormalize a normalized or granular structure. Denormalizing an object structure is literally impossible. Running reports or creating data warehouse structures from object structures is going to be very, very difficult and could have an extreme impact on performance. One of the most crucial parts of the development of object relational databases, which are really object extensions in relational databases, are large binary objects. These are called LOBs. There are different types of binary objects that you can use in an Oracle database. They're called blobs, clobs, etc. Various older versions, such as raw types, which really stored binary data. 
They're very useful at storing images, sound files, multimedia, all that sort of thing. However, there's one very important point to note. In both relational and object databases, the most efficient way to store multimedia files is to store a pointer in the database and store the file externally. Unless that file is constantly changing, you do not need to store it in the database. There are a lot of utilities in Oracle which allow manipulation of binary objects and all sorts of other things that you can do with them. You can also store the binary objects in Oracle. You can even separate the storage structures between binary objects and normal relational tuple data. This can help to make the access of the two different types of data more efficient. The problem with binary objects stored in a relational database such as Oracle is that generally multimedia objects are very much larger than the size of standard SQL row data. The result is a lot of conflict between the amount of information retrieved and the amount of information or physical space needed to be searched to find individual rows.